Guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Web Design Basics. In this episode, we are going to learn about HTML attributes. Basically, the whole point of this episode is to define what an attribute is and show a bunch of examples, because when we move on to uh, more tags, you're going to need to know what an attribute is so that uh, when I use the word attribute, it'll make sense. Uh, and this is a very important concept in HTML, so don't just skip this episode because it doesn't seem that interesting, because it is. Uh, the first thing before we start, there are two things that I want to do. I didn't do them in the first episode, but it was pointed out to me that these are good practice things to do in HTML, so I'll go ahead and do it. The first thing is right above the HTML up here, you usually want to include the doc type, so you do um, opening bracket exclamation point doc type HTML just like that. And basically what that does is when the browser goes to load this page, it's telling you that this is an HTML page, so it knows how to render it properly as opposed to, you know, some, some other sort of page. So. That's uh, one good practice. Another good practice is with uh, HTML, or actually the second good practice we will get to in a second because it's an attribute. So what exactly is an attribute? An attribute is another piece of data that can go onto a tag. So like we have the H1 tag and the P tag, but if we want to specify more information, we would use attributes. So let's look at an example. There's a title attribute, not, don't confuse it with the title tag, but there's a title attribute that basically sets the tooltip. So when I hover over something, that little pop-up that shows at the bottom is called the tooltip. So let's say that I want to take my header, and if I put my mouse over the word hello world, it'll give me some sort of a message. So inside of this H1 tag, if I press space, you'll see that PHPStorm will give me all of these different um, attributes that I can choose, but we'll go ahead and use the title attribute. And when I hit equals, you'll see that it'll automatically give me double quotes. It's good practice to use quotes. You can either use single or double quotes. Um, so, you know, you can decide for yourself. But PHPStorm automatically does double quotes, and I'm used to doing double quotes from Java, so... The title, or really the tooltip, is what it probably should be called. For hello world, we're going to say, you know, you found me. So now, I've specified this is a header one, but it has this extra attribute, this extra piece of information that the title or the tooltip of this header is equal to you found me. So let's open this up. This page looks normal, right? If we hover over hello world, it will say you found me. So we've just specified an attribute of the header that it has a tooltip that says you found me when you hover over it. And notice that that doesn't apply to um, the paragraph. It only applies to the title. So that is what an attribute is. And it's going to be very important because, you know, some tags like H1 and P don't require them. But when we do things like with links and images and all that kind of stuff, attributes are going to be necessary. So one last attribute, this is a good practice to use, and I didn't do it. But now that we know what attributes are, we can. Up here at HTML, we want to, um, there's a lang attribute which can be used to specify the language, not HTML, but languages in English for the page. And I think this helps with like search engines and other things like that, just so they can tell which language this, in which language this page is written. So we might as well just do it. And I think that the proper um, form is like that. It's en-us, that would be like English, en-us for United States. Yeah, I think that's correct. If it isn't, then I'll, you know, make sure and I'll change it in the description, but I believe that's how it works. Maybe there isn't a dash there, but there usually is when you have localizations like that. So that's all for this video. I just wanted to show you um, what exactly are 
attributes because they're a very important part of HTML and when we start getting into some more interesting tags they will require that you have some certain attributes specified. So as always subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn, if you like this video click the like button and I'll see you guys soon with some more coding videos, more web videos really. Bye for now.